Hi guys, good morning. My name is Miss Kate. Um, we are going to be making a water bottle flower today, which is something you can hang, use for the summer. Um, so what you will need today is a water bottle that is empty, some scissors, a couple of crowns, Um, these pre-cut papers that I've pre-cut for you, they are like this, which you can do. Um, then I have a straw and I have some glue. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start with this project. If you'll have any questions for me, you can just, um, go ahead and leave comments below and reach out to me about anything you have. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, primary colors. So primary colors are pretty much the base colors of any colors, which are, can y'all guess? We have a red is a primary color. Then we have orange, that is a primary color, and yellow, that's a primary color. Now those three colors are in all colors. Um, so you can mix colors to make different colors, but there's always gonna be red, or yellow, and orange. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna color these and I need y'all to pick up a primary color. Who remembers what those primary colors are? Okay, so we have red, yellow, and orange. So if you have those colors, I would like you to color these six, um, the six um, pieces of paper with those and color all of them. So let's go ahead and get started with that. This is what I did for the first one. And this is what I did with the second one. This is the third, fourth one, I'm sorry. Two more. This is the fifth one. Now I have one more.
this is what I did for the sixth one. I kind of like an Easter egg to me. Okay, so we can put those crowns away now. Okay. Um, now we are going to... Okay, guys. So with the water bottle, we are going to cut it now. Um, I would say cut it about this much so about not halfway a little bit under halfway um okay so go ahead and cut it make sure to ask parents or have someone else help you with the cutting part um okay oops i didn't cut it all make sure they cut it all the way okay then from there you have these two you're going to take this label off sometimes it can be tricky so just make sure ask for help Okay, there's that. Okay, now you have this part of the water bottle. Now you are going to cut it into six, I mean into fours. Um, if you have a smaller water bottle like this, you can do fours, but if you have a bigger water bottle, that's why I have you make six, so you can do bigger. It's just depending on what how what size you do these, it's what size your water bottle is. So I'm gonna do four on this one. and you're going to glue them to one so one piece of paper will go here so like as shown let's say i pick let's do i like this one so let's do and you're going to glue it right here and so you're going to take the glue you are going to put it on the piece of paper make sure you have enough glue okay and then you're going to take one of the pieces make sure i have one I'm going to do this one, and you're going to go ahead and do that. Glue it on there, like as shown. And you're going to do for all the sizes you colored. So, okay, so I have the glue. cut out depending on the size of your water bottle. I'm going to glue it and make sure it stays like that. So I have one more. I don't know how many you have. Um, I'll give y'all a few minutes to get that all together. Okay. Then, oops. Then while we wait, we got to wait for this to dry a little bit. Um, while we wait for it to dry, I would recommend putting like this. Okay, so now the straw, the straw, the straw, the straw. So the straw is going to be glued to the top of the cap and the bottom of this bottle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And you can stretch these out a little bit so you can get in there. the bottom Okay. 
I just put the glue at the bottom of it and I'm trying to make sure it's going to stay. Then you're going to put glue on the bottom of the water bottle just like this and then And you just gotta wait for it to dry. Give it a little time to dry. Okay guys, so mine is still drying a little bit. Um, so this is what it will turn out to be. You can always put any kind of grass or anything. And I recommend you put this in your window, especially during these times of having to stay indoors. This will help you to know that, and you can do different things with it. Um, I would, um, like to if y'all would comment what y'all got from this why the colors you picked just send me a quick message so I can see what you got from this um, also I just hope you enjoyed this wonderful video of making a flower out of stuff you have at home um, I encourage you to reach out and ask me any questions you have about it um, thank you for listening today um, a few things I would like to say about mine is I picked, well, obviously I picked red, yellow, and orange, but the different things I chose. So this one kind of reminded me of like a candy corn. This reminded me of an Easter egg, and I love Easter. And then I just colored the rest orange and yellow just because I wanted a little bit more plain. Um, so anything y'all have, show me, tell me different water bottles you use, different glues, different styles y'all did. Um, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate y'all listening today. I hope y'all enjoyed this and have a wonderful day. And I just hope y'all are safe. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I just want to show you like how what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to leave it here on this right here and just enjoy that. So I wanted to give y'all a quick, after everything dry, this is what it looks like. Hey guys, so before I end this video, I just wanted to tell y'all if you have any suggestions for any kind of videos you'd like me to put up, just go ahead and comment below and let me know any kind of lessons, plans or anything. Um, I'm here to help. So yeah, thank you for watching so much and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on your notifications. Alright, bye.